What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we have a little treat. We have another new GPU. So this is the MSI GeForce GTX 1660Ti. So I'm excited to get my hands on these cards. Uh, there's a lot of um, other YouTube channels out there that run a lot of these 1660s and the wattage efficiency is insane. I've seen some people get these down to like 60 to 65 watts each at like 30 mega hash on Ethereum, which is crazy. So uh, as I said, 1660 Ti, uh, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace here. And uh, today we're gonna go ahead and throw this on our test bench and we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look and see actually the wattage that we put down when we are actually mi um, mining on it. We're gonna throw it into Hive OS, take a look at see what type of hash rate we're getting. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump over to what to mine and talk about our profitability. So let's go ahead and jump over to our test rig that I have set up here in the other room. Okay, so we have a little test rig here. Uh, monitor and our keyboard. We have a surge protector here. Let me put this GPU down real quick. So we have a, actually let's start over here. So we have a uh, kilowatt voltage meter uh, plugged in here. And uh, if you guys are interested in one of these, I'll put a link down below uh, for the hobbyist minor parts list. You can go ahead and pick one up. So we have a surge protector running down and to right here. I could have just actually plugged right into it, but this worked out conveniently. So we have that running into an Ares game, 750 watt power supply, just one that I had laying around here. And then I have that wired into a H old HP motherboard. Uh, I have a number of these HPs that I picked up for $50 each and uh, went ahead and stripped them out. So this is the HP motherboard. It has four gigs of memory in it, CPU, it's like some um, Pentium. Uh, and uh, on top of that, it has an X16 slot, which will work perfect for our testing. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we do have SATA and we do have a solid state drive. I actually just got a handful of these in, wanted to go ahead and show these to you. So these are actually from the crew over at gprisers.com. It's a 64 gigabyte solid state drive. Uh, pretty slick, pretty cool. They have them on their store right now, so check it out. I'll put a link down below. If you guys use the discount code at checkout, um, the hobbyist miner, uh, it'll go ahead and give you guys a 10% off your entire order. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked in. We're gonna get our card hooked in, and uh, then we'll go ahead and power this up. Okay, we are set and good to go. I even stripped out this little uh, power cable here right out of the front of the case of the HP tower. Um, so our card is hooked in. What we do need to do now is I do need uh, PCI. So the 1660 Ti takes an eight pin. So we'll go ahead and get that plugged in. There we go. And uh, we're ready for our power up. So let's hope everything powers up the first time. And there we go. Man, look at the colors on this. <laughs> hey, that looks pretty cool. I don't think the camera does it justice. Now, we don't buy GPUs because they look good. We buy them because they hash well. Uh, but the RGB colors do help. I hear it gives you an extra five mega hash. Just saying. All right, so we are powering up and good to go. Um, I do have an HDMI cable down here that I did uh, get. I wanna go ahead and plug this in. Can I do this one-handed? Yeah. So that should give us video over here in just a second. Uh, let's see, did I bump something? I think I did. Let's power it down again. Because everything powered off. As the monitor comes on. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Here we go. All right, we're powering on. Our CPU fan is on. And this is what we were waiting for, which was boot which is great. So, okay, we're booting in uh, our lovely HP screen. This is what we really want, which is Hive OS, which is great. Look how dirty that screen is. Don't look at it, guys. Don't look at it. Uh, so right now, this is boot. You can see on here, you actually have a watt. Like you can do volts, uh, amps, 
watts or hertz. So we're gonna go to watts. We're at about 50 watts, give or take right now. And we're directly within Hive OS. As you can see, no log for miner. So we got nothing going on right there. So I think we're set and good to go. So let's jump over to Hive OS. We're gonna go ahead and apply a flight sheet, see what this does stock for Ethereum. We'll get some overclock settings in place. And then I wanna come back here and I wanna see what exactly this does um, when it is overclocked. Okay, so we are up and running here over on Hive OS. We have named our test rig Banshee. Uh, also after an X-Men, all my rigs are named after X-Men characters and comic characters. Uh, so this one is named Banshee, as you can see up here. HP old desktop hardware. Uh, it comes up right there, GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, running at 5,942 megabytes. Uh, this is running on Micron GDDR6 memory. So let's jump in. We're gonna have a flight sheet applied. I got one ready to go for us. We are just doing Ethereum and we're using Hivon and we're using T-Rex Miner. So let's go ahead and apply that. That'll go ahead and apply that to our rig. Uh, there we go. Just took a few extra clicks, a little slow today. Uh, and so what we're going to do is I want to see what this does um, stock for our Ethereum hash rate. Okay, so we give it a minute for our flight sheet to apply. We are on completely stock settings here. Uh, as you guys can see right now, we have Hive OS's GUI up on the left and we have a Hive Shell up on the right. Right now we're at about 25.53 mega hash on stock settings putting us at 110 watts, which is crazy. So for those of you guys that are just getting into mining, your goal at the end of the day should be the most amount of hash rate for the least amount of watts because the watts is what costs you money actually for electricity. So in this situation here, we overclock to get the most hash rate and also then undervolt to get the lowest amount of watts. Uh, if that makes sense for you guys. So now let's go ahead in here and let's uh, overclock this. So uh, I went ahead and talked to uh, my friend and fellow content creator and miner, Seb Heslow. Uh, you guys can check him out on uh, Seb's FinTech channel. I'll put a link down below. He's a 1660 God. Uh, and uh, I, I kind of spitballed some ideas with him on the 1660 Ti tonight. And uh, we came up with some good overclock settings. So uh, for our core clock offset, we're going to use 850. For our memory clock, we're going to go ahead and use 2200. We're going to put our fan on 90 just to get started. And our power limit, we're going to leave blank for right now. Uh, just to see kind of where it puts us and then we'll kind of play with it a little bit. So let me go ahead and apply. And uh, we'll give it a minute and we'll see what we come back with. Okay, so we gave our 1660 Ti some time. Uh, right now we are at our overclock settings of 850 core and 2200 memory. We left power completely blank. That goes ahead and puts us at 31.40. So we are up over six mega hash right now with our overclock settings. And in addition to that, look at our watts. 76 watts. So we went from 110 to 76 watts huge win from the electrical cost and then we went from 25 mega hash to 31 mega hash with our overclock settings huge win thanks to seb for those overclock settings recommendations now with some fine tuning and tweaking we can probably take this down to sub 70 and into the high 60s which would be a huge win we'll save that tweaking for another time so let's go ahead and cut back to our camera and let's look at our voltage meter and let's see what we are currently mining at with this setup. Okay, so let's jump back in here. See what we got. Here's the farm. We're at almost 5,000 watts right now. Is it that insane? That's insane. Okay, so jumping back over here is our lovely 1660 Ti off to work mining for us. As we can see, 31.40. And our watts right now at the wall is 104, 105, we'll say 105 at the peak. Now, we are powering a power supply. We're powering motherboard, uh, solid state drive, CPU. So. All things that you should keep in mind. 
but for all of our calculations, we're gonna go ahead and use our 105 watt number here. So let's go ahead and head back and we're gonna go ahead and jump in to what to mine and discuss profitability for this card, break even days, and, and just kind of what it does on other algorithms. So let's head back over. Okay, so we are back on the computer. We have what to mine up. If you guys are not familiar with what to mine, what to mine is like the holy grail and Bible for GPU miners. Uh, it is a centralized location to take a look at what is best for you to mine and what you know and so what we have in front of us is we have a number of different gpus up top not all of them but a number of them and when you select one of them it goes ahead and auto populates a lot of the different algorithms out there so a great example here is our 1660 ti in the upper left hand corner if we click that it's going to go ahead and select one and it's going to tell us that ethereum the average and this is an average is 28 mega hash at 80 watts and then it says like something like Kapow is 13.30 at 90 watts or Ergo 48 mega hash at 80 watts. So in order to get some good metrics here on, on kind of what we make for Ethereum and, and kind of what Ethereum does, we're going to come in here and we're going to put in under ETH hash 31.40. That's what our card was doing um, on Hive OS. For our watts, we're going to use what we were doing at the wall, which was 105. Now, down here, you want to make sure that you add in your electrical cost. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in here. This is important. And then I'm also going to go ahead and you can either do... Now, this one's going to be interesting right now. So we are currently recording this on August 3rd, under two days away from EIP 1559. So... The, the last 24 hours have been nutty for Ethereum and other algorithms. I mean, profitability and payouts have been nuts all over the place. So we're going to take a look at profitability for the last 24 hours and then also seven days uh, just because the last 24 hours have been pretty nutty. So we're going to go ahead and hit calculate. So now this is telling us that Ethereum is best for us to mine right now on this card. Uh, it, it right here, our revenue is $2.19. So if we click into Ethereum, we can see we're currently $2.15 minus 18 cents for our electricity cost puts us at a $1.97 profit per day. Per week, that puts us at $13.76. Per month, $58.97. So our next thing that we want to do is we want to look at what is our break even. So we paid $400 US for this card off of Facebook Marketplace. So if you put that $400 in here and hit calculate in the left hand side, it's going to tell you our break even at the current rate with Ethereum is 203 days. So quite a bit of time there. Um, more than uh, a little bit more than 50 percent about 60 percent of a year it'll take for us to go ahead and recoup our cost now if we take our difficulty instead of doing the last 24 hours we do the last seven days which might be a little bit more stable than where we were at you can see we were up to two dollars and 24 cents revenue our cost or our electricity cost was 18 cents giving us two dollars and five cents putting in that 400 dollars hardware cost that cuts us down to 194 days. So things fluctuate all the time, day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour when it comes to these things. So coming in and doing this exercise on your setup a few times a month is very smart and very healthy. Going back to where we, where we were, let's take this and bump to the last seven days hit calculate and let's take a look here. So at the very top, Ethereum, $2.18 a day revenue. Uh, Ravencoin, not super far behind, $1.59 per day. But the hard one is with Ravencoin is your um, your cost to involve, taking that down to $1.59 as we talked about. Now jumping below there, you have a lot of different other options and items in here. Firo is up there. Um, that we can see, which is a very uh, octopus com complex is up there. Ethereum Classic is way down here at $1.12. And Ergo is even farther down at less than 
a dollar at 99 cents with 14 cent cost of electricity um you know you're not making much in there not making much at all so that being said guys I'm excited to go ahead and put the 1660 Ti in my Cyclops rig directly following this video to show you guys where this home will be. We'll be taking it out of our test bench, jumping over to our Colossus rig. Our Colossus rig has a variety of 1060s, 2060s, 1080s, a 3060, and now we'll finally have a 1660 Ti. This is on an H110 Pro mining motherboard. This will put us up to 11, 12 GPUs total, giving us very little room left. So uh, I do have two more 1660 Ti's on order. They'll be in within the next week. So I will be going ahead and moving some uh, cards out of here, most likely moving the 2060 out of here and moving probably the 3060 out of here in due time. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys joining me today for a video on the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. If you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Take care.